Shalom, Kal Halayim Le Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha HaKurash, level honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops of GMS Uruwal, and salutations and blessings to you elect, starting with 144,000. So uh, this lesson is uh, going into some history on the uh, the topic here. You see Tyrian purple or Tyrian purple. And this lesson is inspired by the video, the uh, elders, um, Ariala and uh, Yeshawamba, right, from the page uh, Remnant Save 144 Ba, right, the ephod and the breastplate of judgment that they did last night, very edifying video, you know, and the description of how, 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 you know, the priesthood, you know, how they dressed, you know, all the fine material, you know, the history on that, you know, check it out, that was a great video, and uh, in, the le in the lesson they mentioned the the uh, purple you know and i started doing some digging into it you know about the phoenicians which you know i did um i did videos on that years ago and i gotta get back into it because there's a lot of history a lot more things we can learn you know and uh you know we'll just get into it so this is tyrian tyrian purple also known as royal purple imperial purple or, or imperial dye is a reddish purple natural dye the name Tyrian refers to Tyree, Lebanon, once Phoenicia, right? Which Phoenicia, that's a Greek word. You know, the Greeks called them Phoenicians for that specific reason of them having that purple dye, right? It is secreted by several species of predatory sea snails in the family Mercidae, Mericidae, rock snails originally known by the name Murex. In ancient times, extracting this dye involved tens of thousands of snails and substantial labor and as a result the dye was highly valued you know and there's many accounts we'll get in the scriptures about this color purple being something of of royalty of 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 preciousness and value you know you didn't just have purple oh purple and and even blue blue was very very costly as well very very uh uh valued okay these are these are fabrics dyed in the current era from different species of sea snail. You see, like I said, these 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 things weren't easy to come by, man. You didn't just have this oh this purple garment lying around or this blue thing and you have all these colors red, right? We're not dealing with something that like today you have petroleum based dyes. It's all chemistry, majority of it. You know things are bleached, right? Even if you get cotton. Unless it's so-called organic cotton, it's been bleached, you know, and, 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 and that, that material, everything interacts with your body. That's why, you know, we got to get back into, or, you know, in the kingdom, we're going to get the linen, the fine linen, okay? The wool on this side, that shit's expensive, man. The wool, you know, if you can get wool, I, I, I try to get some wool things, but it's not like you can just, you know, re replace your whole wardrobe <laughs> with wool. That's going to cost a few racks, at least. Okay, but um, those things are very beneficial for the body. So cotton is the best you can do. You know the you know the cheapest you can do pretty much. You're not gonna damage yourself. But all that other shit, nylon, polyester, uh, vis viscose, all all that garbage. Okay, that shit is uh, going into your pores, man. Your pores open up and it goes into your body. So let's keep reading. Biological pigments were often difficult to acquire and the details of their production were kept secret by the manufacturers. Tyrian purple is a pigment made for the mucus of several species of murex snail. Production of Tyrian purple for use as a fabric began as a fabric dye began as early as 1200 BC by the Phoenicians and it was continued by the Greeks and Romans until 1453 AD with the fall of Constantinople. In the same way as the modern-day alf Latin alphabet of Phoenicia origin, Phoenician purple pigment was spread through the unique Phoenician trading empire, which was very extensive, right? It was a very big, large empire that even uh, King Solomon, he employed them to come to the New World and get him other re you know, resources and materials. So that was a very vast empire, a network. Okay, they were master shipbuilders, right? This popular idea of purple 
being elite contribute to the modern day widespread belief that purple is a royal color okay the color of textiles from this period provides insight into social cultural relationships within ancient societies in addition to providing insights on technological advance uh, achievements fashion social stratification agriculture and trade connection okay right tyrian tyrian purple uh, may ha may first have been used by the ancient phoenicians as early as 1570 bc it has long been suggested that the name phoenicia itself means land of purple the dye was greatly prized as antiquity because the color did not easily fade but instead became brighter with weathering and sunlight it it came in various shades the most prized being that of black tinted clotted blood right because it was extremely tedious to make you know these are all skills man you know we're go we're going back to that ancient way of life where it's going to be easier in the kingdom because you know the, the starting with the elect they're going to have the bodies and you know you're going to have servants and you're going to have rulership but things are going to go back to that natural way of life production skill craftsmanship you know artificers not this mass manufacturing and, and consuming and all these factories and you know we're going to have great technology as well but you know, a lot of a lot of things are artificial and synthetic in this kingdom, man. Okay, and we have really not experienced true living. You know, true life, right? Uh, 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 living products, if you will, living materials, right? It says um, it was so expensive. The fourth century BC historian the Theopompus reported purple for dyes fetched its weight in silver at Colophon. In Asia Minor, the expense meant that purple dyed textiles became status symbols whose use was restricted by sumptuary laws, right? Meaning you couldn't uh, mass produce this, you know, and, and, and there was a limit to who could wear these things even at certain times. And that's in the scriptures, right? The most senior Roman magistrates wore a toga praetexta, a white toga edged in Tyrian purple. The even more sumptuous toga picta solid tyrian purple with gold thread edging was worn by generals celebrating a roman triumph by the fourth century a.d sumptuary laws in rome had been tightened so much that only the roman emperor was permitted to wear tyrian purple as a result purple is sometimes used as a metonym for the office example the phrase don the purple means became emperor okay the production of Tyrian purple was tightly succeed, uh, controlled in the succeeding Byzantine Empire and, subsided, and it's like it's subs, subsidized by the imperial court, which restricted its use for the coloring of imperial silks. Later, 9th century, a child born to a reigning emperor was said to be poor. <laughs> it's a long ass word, poor. Let me get this actually. Let me get the. Yeah, hold on. Oh, I thought they had the uh, sound. You could play the sound. Anyway, Porfir Porfirogenitos, born in the purple, born into royalty, right? So you get the idea, you know, on that. And, um, you know, we got pictures of it, right? You get the idea. But this is a beautiful color, man. Like, this is a really... It's a really lavish pigment, you know? Like, I just look at it. it to me, it, it's like royal purple. You got royal blue. And that was another thing they were good at when you go into the history of the Phoenicians. They were really good at, at that royal blue. Which blue, like I said, it was hard to make as well. Produce that, right? It was very beautiful. You know, and, and you know, the ephod, the, 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 the high priest, uh, uh, um, what they wore, contained royal blue. You know, we got royal blue, right? A thread of it, a piece of it, a strip of it, if you will, covering the fringes on the garments. And that's a re there, there's a reason for all these colors. We're going to get all that in the kingdom. You know, all, why all these colors were what they were. You know, the Lord chose those specific colors. He he said, dude, uh, blue here, red, 
with a with a with a with a, a, a stitching of gold gold threading and th th there's reasons for all that this is first maccabees 14 and 41 in the gnt therefore the jews and their priests are happy to have simon and his descendants as their leaders and high priests until a prophet appears simon shall govern their country have charge of the temple and shall be their military commander he shall be in charge of military supplies fortifications and public works the people must obey him in everything all government contracts shall be drawn up in his name he shall have the right to wear royal robes with with the gold shoulder buckle now this is the gnt year right i got it for a reason now let me go to the kjv verse 44 also that it should be lawful for none of the people or priest to break any of these things or to gainsay his words or to gather an assembly in the country without him or to be clothed in purple or wear a buckle of gold see so even that time because purple was so precious man it, it meant that was a status symbol you couldn't just have purple on that in that time if you're a regular israelite okay purple purple was a status so that showed you that royal color was what purple which we read in the history as well you know now purple is is is, is mentioned a lot man this is uh, Acts 16 and 14. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple, right, of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped the Most High, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. See, that was her hustle. That was her whole business. She sold purple. We look up this purple. See? Strong's G, 4209. Parfura. Parfura. Right, the purple fish, a, spe a species of shellfish or mussel, a fabric colored with purple dye. Okay. Now let me go back. Let me go get book of Judges. Judges eight. Judges eight twenty two. KJV, then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Rule thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, for thou hast delivered us from the hand of Midian, who were the Ishmaelites, right? Midian were the Ishmaelites. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you, the Lord Yahweh shall rule over you. And Gideon said unto them, I would d desire a request of you, that ye would give me every man the earrings of his prey, for they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. <laughs> And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a garment and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold beside ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian and beside the chains that were about their camels' neck. See? So the kings had that purple attire on, man. It was, it was clearly... Many nations recognize the value of it, you know. They recognize the value of, of purple. And that's why America is also, right, uh, Revelation 18 and 16 and, and, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stone and pearl. Purple, again, representing affluence, right? Uh, uh, somebody high-ranking like an emperor, royalty, if you will, right? But but to have purple, that means you're doing good. Because that purple, right? In, in the 4th century BC, Asia Minor, purple pigment extracted from the shells of murex snail costs its weight in silver. Its value rose over the next 600 years. The Roman Emperor Diocletian capped its price per pound at 150,000 denarii, which was the unit of measurement in Rome, the, the unit of, of, of uh, like today's petrol dollar, if you will, right? Or three pounds of gold, okay? Three pounds of gold. So that's crazy, man. Buy it now, right? While synthetic dyes can approximate the color genuine tyrian purple pigment remains expensive up to four thousand dollars a gram today <laughs> see 
yeah that's the same thing right so this thing this thing was very highly valued man all right so i hope you're edified i don't want to you know take too long um just wanted to bring out some history on why you know why why this color and 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 it's uh, you know they put the purple robe on yahweh as well to mock him right but hey that's just to show you look the history on um on the color purple i hope you're edified kahalalim Shalom to the elect. See the book of Esther as well. Mordecai himself, uh, 8 and 15. And Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white and with a crown of gold and with a garment of fine linen and purple. And the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. Shalom to the elect.